uh, mail-in ballot. So. Oh, I mean, like, which party, which group, or non-affiliated, or uh, Democratic. Democratic. And then, uh, which sources do you use for information about congressional candidates? The thing that comes in the mail, or the brochure, from the, with, that comes along with the ballot. You just sort of look at the different ones. There's descriptions of each thing. There's arguments for, arguments against, rebuttals, etc. That's cool. Um, okay, and then uh, which information do you, when you're finding out information about candidates or propositions, um, works better for you? Like historical information about, like which stuff do you read? Information about what they've done or what they want to do? Uh, track record would be more important to me if it's available. Cool. Thanks. That's a, that question I was <laughs> um, And then you probably don't read the Chronicle. Uh, so last question for you. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's the San Francisco uh, So the last question is, um, if you could choose anything, even though like, there's probably no way it can actually happen, if you choose like, one thing for the government to actually get done next week, what would you choose? Improve education. I know that's very general, but something improving education. Yes. Cool. All right. Thank you for taking a minute. Thanks for voting. All right. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Good luck. Sorry for looking up. <laughs>